moving to the forelimb of the cat and we're going to do the extensor side. So the extensor muscles extend the wrist. We'll start with the brachioradialis, which lies along the inside of the forelimb. And if you lift up on that, you're going to see the extensor carpi radialis longus and the extensor carpi radialis brevis underneath that. So the extensor carpi radialis longus lies right under the brachioradialis and it has a very long tendon. There's the tendon right there you can see. And then if you pick up on that muscle, the extensor carpi radialis brevis, you can see the edge of it right underneath. That one's a lot wider than the extensor carpi radialis longus on top. Okay, so going back to the extensors uh, on the mid portion of the forelimb you've got the extensor digitorum muscles in the cat there are two superficial ones the extensor digitorum communis is there and the extensor digitorum lateralis is to the outside of that right there and if we go out further we get to the extensor carpi ulnaris which is right there. Okay, so we're going to move from the extensor side. We've got the extensor carpi ulnaris right there. And if we turn to the flexor side, right next to the extensor carpi ulnaris is the flexor carpi ulnaris, which kind of has a feather-like shape to it. And then we'll go medial. We'll continue to go medial, and we'll get to the palmaris longus. That wide muscle right there is the palmaris longus. And then Continuing on, on the radius side, we're going to have the flexor carpi radialis, which is right there. Perfect. That's the flexor carpi radialis. And then we are right to the bend of the elbow where we'll find that pronator teres. And it looks like a wedge, you know, right in the crook of the elbow there and it tapers off as it goes down the radius. Good.